All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix a your bouncy speedometer needle, um, especially when you're going, you're going low speeds, 20 miles per hour or 20 kilometers an hour if you're from Europe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there are a few steps that I want to do. And I'm going to see which one of them will fix the problem. Here's that bad flex disc that needs to be replaced. Okay, guys. It's also missing a shifter bushing right here where the shifter is. So I pulled the cluster out on this car and I want to check this right here. Okay, that's the connection. So there's a lot of wires here, okay, but this is the main speedometer cable that you actually uh gonna focus on all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean that end of the cable okay and we're gonna spray some lubricant in there and we're gonna do the same this one we're gonna go ahead and clean all this up I have like a couple small screwdrivers we're gonna scrub that in there and uh, at the end we're gonna apply some grease so just using a uh, small screwdriver really tiny one and uh, a rag we're gonna go ahead and clean that area so i'm pulling a lot of garbage from there so i'm gonna keep doing that until this whole thing is clean after cleaning everything uh, inside of this uh, speedometer, um, I'm gonna put ATF in there, okay? So literally just like a spray bottle, I'm gonna spray ATF just a little bit, okay? It's right there. Uh, I actually need probably a few drops, I probably overdid it, but so I'm gonna remove a little bit of that. Um, that's definitely too much. Okay, it's probably not needed. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna clean that cable over there. Okay. Yeah, that's better. I'm gonna put it aside. Now with again with my screwdriver and the rag I'm going in there and cleaning all that stuff now i want to get deep in there and look how much junk i'm pulling out of that thing okay so i gotta i have to make sure everything's clean so I realized that most of that junk that's in there, it's not junk actually, it's actually uh, factory grease. So I'm going to leave that stuff like that and then I'm going to add, it's going to be really difficult, but I'm going to add some uh, ATF and hopefully the, uh, thanks to the gravity that thing is going to flow all the way down and lubricate this uh, speedometer cable even more. Alright, after running some transmission fluid in there. I'm gonna add grease on the end right there. Okay, I'm gonna add grease and we're gonna spread it a little bit with the tool. Goes all the way there. Putting some grease in there as well. All right, guys, we're going to go on a test drive right now. I have this uh, speedometer and cluster uh, partially installed. I just want to see if that did anything at all, if that did improve it or not. If not, we're going to go from there. But hopefully, maybe it already fixed the problem. So let's see. OK, half of the cluster is not plugged in. That's what's not going to work. But main thing is the speedometer right now, which we're gonna focus on, okay? And 
Is it already working? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Gotta go on the main road. We're gonna see if that thing works or not. Really curious. Yeah, my turn signals actually are not working. So, I don't have this plugged in, but this way I mean it's better but it's I mean it's better but it's I mean it's better but it's still doing it okay so I guess we'll focus a little more on what's up Still not fixed. Okay. All right, guys. So we're under the car right now, and uh, you know, there's the, your speedometer cable on the left, attaches to the transmission. It goes all the way here, and as you can see, someone uh, put some zip ties right here to hold it. But the main goal is actually you um, you want to make sure that this thing is all firm and is not flopping around because if this cable is flopping around it's going to cause that uh, but uh, I'm going to cut these cables right now right here these zip ties and I want to recheck on to see how the car will react because maybe, maybe it's just a little twisted because you can see right here it's a little twisted um, alright and if anything I can always put those zip ties back on um, I have new ones but uh, yeah, if that doesn't work, I might try to pull out that cable and maybe, you know, clean the end again and just lubricate that as well. So, we will see, guys. Pull the cable out, remove that uh, 10 millimeter bolt, and there's the cable end from the transmission, and it's kind of dry, so I'm gonna put some lubricant in there. Uh, grease, uh, probably ATF, like a mixture. And then there's like, uh, if you look down in there, oops, if you look down there, it's actually like a plastic gear in there, kind of like, so I'll put grease in there as well. So I want to make sure it's all lubricant and then we're gonna retest it again. And you know, hopefully this time it's gonna work. Um, as of right now, it's still bouncy. Okay guys, tons of grease on this bad boy. And I'm ready to reinstall this back. Uh, first I put ATF a little bit in there, sprayed it and then I put that wheel bearing grease and we're gonna go ahead and Install it. Cable is reinstalled. We're about to go test dry it again. So I have this extra speedometer thing, uh, which is pretty much the same like on this car. And if anything, we're gonna try that. But right now, after I installed that cable on this transmission side, we're gonna try again and see if that did anything at all. Okay. Oops. 
All right, guys, we're testing uh, testing this thing again. <laughs> I think that it's fixed. Let's see about the accelerate here. That is crazy. No way. Let me try again. Okay, no cars behind. Let's try again. Okay, stopped and let's go. Wow! No way! That is fixed! <laughs> That's awesome! That was a pretty simple fix. Oh wait, okay, I got I gotta double check this thing, okay? So a little bit of that lubrication okay on the top side where it goes to the transmission I, I took as you guys saw I took that out and I cleaned it up and then I put grease in there and the ATF okay so that is crazy let's let's try it again okay yes guys I do have my seat belt on and I'm sorry if my lens is dirty it looks dirty oh my god all right Let's try that again. I want to see that speedometer, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's look at that baby. It's literally not bouncing anymore. That is amazing. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's uh, stop really quick. Again, no cars. Okay. And here we go. That is insane. That is amazing. That's it. That was a pretty simple fix, guys. That is amazing. Now, as you can see, I'm driving at slow speeds, okay? And it's not jumping around anything. Increase it a little. And I'm gonna stop. Sorry, <laughs> I had to turn. Wow. Well, I'm really happy with the results.